Hello everyone, welcome to a Foreigner Farming in the Philippines. These are the tomatoes that I started about a week, ten days ago. Can't really remember exactly when I planted these. Uh, there's two different kinds here. They're both locally sourced seeds. These are Discovery, they call them. Uh, look like a, a Roma to me. And then these here uh, this is a paper uh, label, so I don't want to pull it out. Much better uh, germination amongst these than there was those, but we've got so many here that it's not, uh, germination rate isn't what's on my mind. It's where we're going to put them all. It's on my mind. Now I have told Gina, Gina I guess has some room down there to put some. Look I've only got, we'd have to, <laughs> we'd have to use all the rest of the stalls in the piggery to plant all these and space them properly. So we've got a lot more here uh, to use than we have, than we can utilize. Maybe we'll give some of these away, I don't know. I can use maybe an eighth of these down there, or a sixteenth even. Well, there's only 12, 15 plants going to go in that stall. So I'm going to go down and see if anything's come up, see if any of those melons or onions have come up. The potatoes don't want to seem to form eyes yet, so I'm still waiting on those as well. But I'm going to go check on things and... Uh, Probably transplant these in about another week or ten days. Wait till they get up to like yay. And uh, transplant these. I'm going to go see. Hopefully something's come up by now. It's been, I don't know, it's been a week or so. So we'll see. Alright, let's see here. Nope, none of these melons have come up. These are all the... Crimson, crimson sweet. Usually melons take 10 days to two weeks, so right at the beginning of when they should start coming up. If they're not come up within a week, then they're not going to. Let's put it that way. We got anything down here? I planted that one little hill of the uh, hail's, the hail's best. They haven't come up either. Nothing is coming up in here. I planted several rows of onions in here as well, and they haven't come up. Yep, none over here either. Alright, so I've got, let's see, I've got one. That one up there has other stuff. So one of these is going to get uh, a couple dozen tomatoes and the other one's going to get potatoes. I think I'm going to put the potatoes here and the, t the tomatoes down there. I'm going to get my uh, trusty little hand spade and gather up some soil around this corn, do a little bit of weeding. Uh, Gina came through and took out a lot of the uh, eggplant that was in here. It was just way too, uh, way too overcrowded. The corn eh, only did so-so in this one, uh, but the eggplant came up profusely. So I'm going to get all those weeds out of there, pull up some soil around the corn. Need to do the same thing here. Seems to be doing a lot better here. I just, you know, I have never in my life, these are local seeds, and I've never in my life seen corn that just wouldn't stand up and grow. Uh, very weak stalks on these. 
And it's not that they're not healthy. They are. I can tell by looking at them. They're healthy. They just don't want to stand up. They got to have soil pulled around them to get them to stand. Uh, I'm going to fertilize these as well. I'm going to. All I've got is 14, 14, 14. I'm going to bring that down. Actually, I'm going to fertilize them first, and then I'm going to pull the soil up around them. Um, hopefully, they'll stand up. These melons here are are doing really well. They're a local. They look like a cross between a honeydew and a cantaloupe. Uh, they they came up with fairly good germination, and they're up and doing well. So I'm going to go get my little. Uh, I'm going to get a cup of fertilizer and my little uh, mini hand hoe. Yeah. Yeah, I need that to pull the soil up. I was going to say there's not enough weeds in there that I just couldn't pull them by hand. But uh, to bring the soil up because it's wet, I'm going to need uh, a little hand spade. <coughs> all right, I got this all weeded up, fertilized, and the soil drawn up around this corn. I hope it starts doing well. I hope it'll just stand up on its own now. I mean, I, I, draw, I drew up, I don't know, a couple inches of soil around them. Uh, got all the weeds out. Didn't throw them all out, but got them all pulled. There's only about, I thought there were many more melons than that, but there's only, I think, nine plants there, which is about right for a hill. I mean, well, it's a little bit too many for a hill, but uh, I fertilized those as well. This side here, I did not fertilize, so I'm going to wait another three or four days. Let the, you know, I don't have high hopes for this eggplant. The bugs are in it. Those worms, I think those worms right there are the culprit. Those uh, black and black and gold uh, worms. There's a lot of them in there. And they're really going to town on the eggplant. I don't know how well the eggplant is going to do in here. I pulled some of the weeds. I'm going to give, I say, three or four days, and then I'm going to fertilize the corn and draw up soil around it as well. And decide. Gina's already got a lot of the eggplant out of here. A lot of eggplant. There's still quite a bit left in here. I may just plant something else. Um, because I'm not going to use pesticide. Uh, they can use all the pesticide they want on other places around here, but uh, I'm not going to use pesticide because it'll all eventually drain down into the fish ponds or what will become the fish ponds. Uh, I'm just not going to do it. If it won't uh, grow, and th grow and thrive without the use of pesticide, then it won't. Uh, I had enough mis misgivings on using the permethrin uh, to treat the wood on the roof. I'm just not going to use it in, in this garden. So anything that won't grow or, and thrive without using pesticide, we're just not going to grow it. Plain and simple. I don't know. Um, I don't know what would predate, uh, what would eat those worms. I don't know what their natural enemy is. If I did, I'd throw a bunch in there. You can see them there. Uh, and you can see the damage they're doing to the eggplant. Uh, those there, they just, they're really socking it to it. I had two horseshoes of the eggplant planted here. One on the outside and one on the inside. There's still a lot left. I'm going to, like I say, three or four days. I'm going to come through and uh, thin out the eggplant and uh, fertilize this and hope for the best. This batch here is doing well. I'm excited about the melons and the corn. You know, who doesn't like to, some fresh corn on the cob? I hear the inverter buzzing. It's over voltage. Gotta get. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.